Hello everybody and thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino and in today's video we shall be exploring the AROS Research Operating System. This is an experimental, so to say half hobbyist, operating system aiming to carry forward the spirit of the Commodore Amiga after Commodore went bust in the 1990s. And the Amiga was one of those early idiosyncratic machines, you know, like the mid to end 80s was sort of full with them, where all sorts of architectures and all sorts of microprocessors were competing with each other. And that was one of them. And I'm considering now, but likely will not take it, as operating system for what you have come to know as my Windows XP machine, however, without harming XP and just trying it out on its own disk. The trouble I'm having is that this is highly unstable. Look, like it boots up, just did, I have just installed it, and shows me this little calendar. What will happen if I click in order to navigate? Nothing happens, right? Like, we don't see anything happening here. So, I click, nothing. Nothing at all. Like, this calendar is there, but it isn't doing anything. And it's gone. So, it looks like the calendar is now only an image. And maybe the calendar is somewhere in the programs. <laughs> I mean, likely, right? Like, I, I can apparently just open menus and, and draw over it. So, it was apparently just some shadow after booting. Uh, that's how I want my main problem. I wouldn't be stopped by such a thing. What was much more concerning is that I have zero experience with the system. And recently when it rebooted, it just declared that the checksum for some block was erroneous. And for that reason, uh, it's not just not loading. And that's it. You're, you're stuck. There is no self-healing capability. There isn't anything like, uh, like, like this cleaning mechanisms, which in fact, since DOS, everybody has. Like MS DOS had one. I forgot what it, what was the name of it. Yeah, ch, ch disk, ch disk, something like that. Windows has it. Uh, Linux has FSCK, but this just declared that some checksum is wrong. And to hell you go. So that won't really be acceptable. I'm very sorry. Now, regarding the uh, system otherwise, you know how people are making jokes about elder people using a computer for the first time and being very clueless about it? Well, once you meet Aros, you feel like that too. This system seems to have here a design made amenable for the modern user who has little clue of it. Yet it is a very, very own thing in all respects. And it feels like a strange own thing. Like, for instance, it has some nice applications. It doesn't have a package manager, though. Hello from its notepad variant so it, it has something like that right it also has something like a word processor and that was gosh somewhere under extras applications cinnamon writer yeah cinnamon maybe 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 they will have also something else nice something like no no to all Maybe they'll have something like caramel somewhere, right? Not just cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon and the caramel go together. Let's open the cinnamon writer. Yeah, let's do so, please. Go ahead. So there we go. And now, what, what did it now do? Did it open it several times? Yes, it did. Yes, quit. Yes, quit. Yes, quit. Ah, this is the real one. Very good. Now we can write in this very, oops, beautiful word processor. I mean it though, I'm not being cynical here. I like the very, very clean look of it. 
I can apparently change whether it's showing centimeters or inch. And <laughs> yeah, uh, there must be some way of uh, control A did not select everything, anything at all. Like this, this select all thing did not work at all. Maybe if I mark it like that, can I change anything in this? No, I can only save it as a text and maybe export it as PDF. And I can quit and that's it. Or maybe I don't like it all that much then. Then, then it is just simply too limited. Limited is the word. Now it does have a web browser. Let me show you that too. Oh, don't you love this clean, ancient look of it? It is so reminiscent of when <laughs> when everything was as big as your thumb or something. Uh, but for that purpose, though, it tried to get the right lighting. So it is initializing the fonts right now. This is not the highest possible resolution on the highest possible resolution for my monitor. Unfortunately, the fonts are too thin and become unreadable. So it gets actually uglier though finer. So yeah, it is loading the browser. It has also some sort of media players and, and they have something they call this, you see the zoom view, something they call a zoom system, subsystem, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with Microsoft Zoom at all. It seems to be their own like toolkit or aiding instrument for developing applications. Really, I am talking here like a boomer in front of the computer for the first time, right? Uh, <laughs> because I feel like one though. Though one, one should not discount that, like what these guys have seen, like, like Tech System 10 and, and a high BM system I and, and, and VMS and all sorts of weirdo systems. So <laughs> what, what I'm complaining here is, is, you know, a high level complaint. Boomers have seen way worse. So that would be the browser. It looks very beautiful. I think I still need to do the network though. Like if I were to go to Google, it does recognize my card. Ah, yes, but do you really want to quit? Yes, I do want to quit. Well, what happens if I... Uh, no, no, not bye-bye. Continue. So... Ah, settings. No, it's not under settings. May maybe I show you just briefly the shell of this thing and how to get to programming languages. And then we try to configure the network and then we'll have everything crash and, and then the installation will self ruin. But uh, <laughs> until then we can have a little bit of fun, right? So one of my, my issues with it is you have this very nice menu and you have these applications, but you can't add others. Like it is mentioned in the documentation that they plan to add a package manager, but they don't have one yet. Yeah, so that must be the uh, network configuration tool. Let's return to that in a moment. And they have, yeah, here they have all sorts of mathematics uh, things, like some, some apparently some derivative computation facility. And yeah, I mentioned the wonderful paint they have. Let's draw, uh, but it doesn't catch all of my drawing. Let's draw a happy face. So you can see the paint program maybe can be adjusted. What is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> well, what's the difference between this and that? I don't know. So let's put a smile on that face. Come on, let, let really let's do that. Oh gosh. <laughs> so yeah, so far to modern art. <laughs> they they do have a paint program though. So it's it, it's nice that they have a paint program. I always love to have a paint program around. Ha, huh, this must be Toggle Calendar. This must be our little friend from before. Yeah, and now it works. Very good. The little calendar is there and it works. 
And scout must be something for searching. That must be God knows what directory opus. Ooh, so we're having something like a sort of uh, two pane file manager. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but very much looks like it when I when I look at things. Unfortunately, I have no idea where I am. So please insert volume pipe fs cancel cancel con. What is con? Oi oi. I have no idea what this is. I don't know where I am. All of this looks terrible. I just made con thinner, but I did not remove con. How can I get rid of con? I, I, I don't know. Bah, how many cons are there? I don't want any con. Oh, please. Ah, I ended up in a Zunark. What is con? Why is there? Why are there always one million of these? DOS error code. File system action type unknown. Well, then don't do it. Ah, I wanted to show people things. Why are you doing this to me? All right. So, whatever this is, it's a nightmare. And, and everything is like that. And you see, I don't have menus. I can maybe only send everything to the left somehow. Hmm, will I be able to do that at least? All the cons, can I set the... Whatever. Trash that is. Be gone, trash! So, let's park all of this away. And let's close it. Do I want to quit? Yes, I want to quit. Oh god, I'm out of this. But I said that I want to quit. Why haven't I quit? Directory opus request. Do I really want to quit? Yes. I want to quit all of this nonsense. What is this? Econify. Directory opus is already. Do you want to bring forward another copy? No, 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 no. Run? What, what do I want? Oh, gosh, it. No. Okay, quit it. Fine. And quit it. And close it. Oh, we are out. We're clean. <laughs> I told you that this system is, uh, for someone who has no clue of it, quite terrible. They do give you the manuals. So you can make yourself acquainted with this 107 pages manual about their shell, in which you will recognize that the commands are a weird mix between uh, mostly DOSish, something strange, <laughs> slightly reminding. Unix C somewhere or CPM maybe like the copy command has again this destination like from to syntax like destination from source and things like that. The shell looks like that, and if I go to like, configurable, it's not configurable. It's just like this. So if I say then dear, yeah, I do want to say dear. Yeah, I may want a lot of things, but it doesn't do that. So I say dear, it doesn't. Now hanging. Uh, okay, what happens if I just open another shell? Now I can say dear. Very good. Other shell is hanging. It's still hanging. Nobody, nobody knows how to get rid of this. No, nor do I. Ah, it's, at least it's smaller. It's out of the way. And then here, like they say it's alpha quality and so on, but that is the typical excuse when they haven't done anything. CD extra. Hmm. Where did I need to go? I needed to go somewhere specific. Just let me see again. Extras. Yes, I did need to go to extras. Dear. Extras. CD extras. This was, I swear this was working. I was, I was able to get to slowly navigate towards the programming languages because that was the problem. You're having here the applications. No, here. Development. Languages. And you're thinking like, pretty cool. So they have BW Basic, a well-known basic, and they have Mini Scheme, a well-known scheme. But you can't do anything. You, you can only, like if I... Windows, Aros Shell. So this must be this one, maybe. Windows, can I, can I kill it from here? Mm, 
clicking all sorts of buttons, nothing works. No, I cannot terminate anything from the Windows list, although it would be sort of intuitive to do so. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, I wanted to show you the development languages they have. And if I go to BW Basic, I have empty. If I right click, I have this thing, select application, open with properties, copy, move, delete, whatnot. But I can't actually click on BW Basic and just have it run. If, if I go for properties, I mean, great. I don't even know what these are, protection bits. But they don't do anything. And here, the most frustrating part was, so, There was extras, right? And here we do not have extras. Maybe CD programs. And it will tell me again that I did not find it. So where, where are we to go? Somehow I managed to get to the applications here. Yeah, I don't have an extras thing here indeed at all. Great. And this, this terrible new shell thing is, is unquittable so uh, you can navigate somehow manually here and I'll try to figure out how that was working open with yeah what happens if I open it with multi view nothing right and select file to open languages select BW basic all right, let's try BW Basic. Okay, and I get a hex view. Like, why? Why do I get a hex view? <laughs> Is that how you're supposed to do anything? So it's a little bit frustrating if you're not very well acquainted with it. It looks sort of cute, but is sort of frustrating. And if I go for applications again, I, I will try to continue doing this. Like, this can't be that... It's impossible. So on, only development has it. Nothing else has it. File system actions, nothing. Like select application. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Opus. Opus seems to be like this. This whole screen thingy, like this whole. Um, like screen management thingy. This Opus thingy is maybe in some way sort of comparable to MacOS Finder or something. And speaking of Finder, what happens if I uh, open a Finder? This is not a file manager either. My workspace. Desktop, documents, downloads, music and pictures. I have none of these. Opening the desktop. It's empty. And I can select, a, I can create a new drawer, which must be creating a new file. I, I, I might just have to read the 250 pages of manual that are supplied with it. And certainly there's a reason why there are 250 pages of manual supplied with it. <laughs> Look, I'll try to open another shell and now I will try to somehow get to, to basic and just start it up because that was sort of working, but you couldn't get out of it. Yeah, some progress. So <laughs> I remembered that the root directory of this thing is called sys. And that's actually a sort of calling thing switch goes back a long time to deck operating systems and now when i went up from c to to sys i suddenly see here stuff like development so cd development i think it was case insensitive right dear yeah finally uh we have some sort of thing uh what is in dear bin 
Wow, lots of stuff. GCC is here. That's good. Bah, but nothing else. So there are a couple of Linux known programs and including MPG123, which is lovely. <laughs> I don't know whether I have sound though. Let's see anyway, what does uh, GCC tell us? So for the record, this is the development of environment development available here. So dear, dear without the bracket. Uh, what is an SBIN? I do wonder, of course. Yeah, nothing significant. Sys, I don't know yet how to go upstairs. It's not CD dot dot. And well, when I click here, what does it show us? Prefs? No. Windows? No. Extras. It must be an extras, right? So uh, is there anything like extras? Yes, there is extras. So dear. So no, 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 not dear, but CD extras. Dear. Yeah. And we see the extras directory. And if I say CD extras, ah, this time it got it. Maybe it's not case insensitive after all, but before that it was. So, hmm. Dear development info, huh? <laughs> uh, I, I am not sure what I can do here. Ah, this is where it is. Okay, so there must be a development here. Okay, CD development there. Oh, we have languages, CD languages. Yes. Oh, I crept forward, didn't I? <laughs> and, and there we are having already the basics in front of us. I did try CBM basic. That was awesome because I couldn't get out of it. Uh, <laughs> like control C just did not work. I may try mini scheme this time because yes, I love scheme. CD mini scheme, dear, CD bin, dear, mini SCM. Oh, finally we have something lispy here. Plus nine, six. Yes. Can, can we quit it? It will be either exit or quit. Nope, not exit. Will it be quit? Quit. Excellent. Uh, hmm. CD. You see, CD dot dot doesn't work. <laughs> Object not found. Cechadir dot dot. Object not found. And. Well, that doesn't matter though anymore because I'm no longer quite so shocked about what the heck to do. Uh, we'll just figure out how to get up a directory. So that's the manual, the shell manual. <laughs> and they, they do have a nice PDF viewer. Of course, everything is too small, but this is ah cd is on page 30 very good then let's go to cd and see what happens so change directory is used to change the directory the value of the priority can blah 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 because it is a multitasking, oh, so this is, sorry, task priority. So 
does not require Aros shell does not require CD to actually change its path. The user can just type the path name and it will perform the same way. Uh, okay. We get zero information of how to get the directory up. There you, by the way, see the copy command I mentioned from equal to something to equal to something. This This is more like Okay, it's not like CPM because it is first source, then destination, but it is like DD. It's not like you are used to it. And you see how one is giving the options with a forward slash and then option. I do like that. <laughs> and then you're having here this weird wildcard. So it's not just asterisk. It is like number and question mark. Looking at the shell basics. So this is the interesting part. You see, this is more DOSish than than Unix C, as more and more people are used to nowadays. All right. Yeah, colons and slashes are not allowed within a name, and they are reserved for path statements. And somewhere here, I believe I saw. Anyway, let's quit this. Somewhere here, I believe I saw that we just need to do cd uh, forward slash and should get one level up. Yes, we do, because colon is the present path and forward slash is the future path. No, the path upwards. So we go again, maybe just forward slash. Yes, it works. Oh, this is nice. And then now let's go to... See, they have two SDL basic things, B4 SDL and SDL basic. In what way are they different? So let's say CD B4 SDL. Dear B4 SDL. Okay, incorrect number of <laughs> arguments, I will not care. Uh, okay, if, if, if you're playing complex with me, then not, you know. Okay, then let's go to SDL basic. CD, SDL, and then what was it? Hashtag question mark. Oh, I, I am in the right place. Okay, anyway. CD, SDL, let's not play funny. SDL basic, dear. Wumpu Star Trek, this sounds good, this looks great. And let's simply say basic here. Wow, is this ugly. Uh, oh my god, this is so ugly, it's unusable. If I say 10, this is too squashed. This is way too squashed. No, I can't use this. Goodbye, SDL basic. Dear, let's go to BW basic. BW basic. Dear. And BW basic. Now let's not type it correctly. And it works. So here again, it was case independent. Anyway, 10 print hello and run. Hello, excellent. And if I say system, I'm out of here. And that seems to be my only usable basic implementation for if I go uh, upstairs again and go to CBM basic. I like this thing that you do not have to change directory in order to enter directories. Uh, this, this, is, this is lovely. And I say then CBM basic. You see, then I'm getting this Commodore 64 basic, but I can't exit it. So if I say 10, ah, yeah, it works only with capital letters. 10 print 10, run syntax error. So, but 10 print 10, and then run. Ah, syntax error on the run works. All right. I could also say print hello. Now, what I cannot do, 
<laughs> is exit this in any civilized fashion. That is, how do you exit a basic system? You would normally say system. Ah, but you would have to say it in capital letters here. System. Maybe that was the issue I was having. And it's ready. Ready for whatever. Buy. Syntax error. Doesn't know buy. And exit. Quit. Leave. <laughs> so stop. Out. Off. Nothing. Okay, so I think I have sufficiently demonstrated this is this is unexitable. But you can close then your shell. And that is how you can get to to these. And somehow through whatever witchery it was, yesterday I managed to actually turn on my wireless internet card. Let me see whether I'll be able to do that or not. But frankly speaking, if it doesn't even have a possibility to change fonts in the word processor thingy, I don't think I'll use it. Okay, I did not manage to do that. Like I found the network preferences, but no matter what I say and do, doesn't actually get an IP address. And theoretically, it recognizes even my wireless card, which is remarkable, right? My my little TP-Link friend here. Uh, but it is, uh, I, I love it because it works in nearly all operating systems. It is a TL minus WN722N device. So I, I'm really happy about it. But it's not recognized and like it is recognized in so far as it notices that it is there, right? And it tells me bye bye. And what 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 then? And then I turn it on, right? And then it registers that it is connected. It doesn't register that. Okay, maybe if I close the preferences, the preferences contain the network. So yeah, it just realizes that it yeah, and now continue. And then what? Then I go again to Icaros preferences network. I tried that. Really, I did try it. But if I now go for Icaros shell, right clicking here about things and, and try to ping Google, it won't. Yesterday it somehow did. So maybe <laughs> we will have to live without it. There will be no review of the wonderful browser. Anyway, <laughs> now you saw a little bit of Aros, what it looks like. And I hope that has been to your satisfaction. Maybe if I try another physical network adapter, it will catch it. Let, let me just try for a second. So, what if I place this over here. Yeah, just a moment. So let's again try the network preferences. Well, still didn't work. All right, last experiment and I'm not very, very, yeah, yeah, goodbye. You, me too. Uh, what happens if it, if I plug in a USB stick, what then? It did notice that, that's good. Apparently this continue thing is just what it tells, continue. So it did notice it. And let us hope <laughs> it would be findable, but I have no idea where this is now. Like it does not pop up anywhere. It's like it, it noticed it. And that's it. And I don't know actually where it would register it. Storage. I don't know. 
system. Nothing pops up though, so whatever it did, it did it extremely discreetly. I think I found something like some sort of device manager and there my USB stick is definitely not visible. Like these seem to be all CDs. The F thing seems to be floppy drives. NTFS it's not because it's not formatted with NTFS. If I remove it, yeah, it, it just registers that the drive is attached and, and, and leaves, but it doesn't actually assign any form of driver with it to it. Like if I if I put it in, right, and say update, then none of these here seem to uh, seem to change. This DH0 is the main disk, so that's not it. Well, yeah, I know it has been removed. Okay. But by chance I found something else, which was also nice. Like, so far I can't get anything in and out of the system, right? So, ah, we're having here a list which writes devices. Maybe there. Keyboard device, AHCE, disk image, game port, blah, blah, blah. It was somewhat complaining about me having used a USB mouse. In other words, it was freezing it and doing nothing with it. But if I now were to again connect the... Uh, wireless internet device. Will it see it under devices? Console, PC, PCI, USB, but I think that is the other network card, which somehow doesn't work right now, but did work yesterday. So <laughs> update, no change. Well, yeah, then that's it. Let's quit this and let's just for goodbye show you the uh, very nice Excel clone, which, hello, I can't make here fonts different and so on and so forth. So like, why, why couldn't I do this? <laughs> why couldn't I do this in this word processor? Do I want to save it before I quit? No, I don't. So Aros is extremely fast, quite impressive as an achievement, but not practically usable and therefore it will not become the system for this computer. So I now say quit and let's try my luck elsewhere. As to you, thank you very much for having joined today. Uh, what did I quit here? <laughs> A reboot computer. Oh, shut down. Okay. So, thank you very much for having joined today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is an unusual, strange operating system. Ah, now it froze. <laughs> and next time we shall try something else again. Until then, have a wonderful time. And from me, goodbye.